Hello and welcome back. In this demo, we are going to learn about Windows Autopilot self-deploying mode. In this mode, we are going to deploy with uh, zero touch almost uh, the machines, but it's going to be a kiosk build. That means some of the applications only we will be enabling for the user. Uh, in this case, the user is not going to assign for that device because it's going to be a kiosk device. When I say kiosk device, uh, it's going to be automatically logging uh, with that specific user. That means a kiosk user will be created and that specific user will automatically log in. So I think that it could be a showroom or it could be a small the uh, machinery uh, machine where you're actually performing some activities on that without any user um, a profile to be assigned so in that situations we would be using the self-deploying uh, mode or the uh, kiosk builds so let's uh, have a, a configuration um, to be demonstrated this uh, to work uh, and basically it requires a few of the configurations to be done at the high level the first one would be in this video demonstration I'm gonna create autopilot profile uh, which is for the self deploying mode configuration and followed by creating an active directory group uh, I'll just try to name it as self deploying mode or self deployment uh, so that that specific AD group gonna assign for the autopilot profile as well as we are going to create a or we are going to enable at least a kiosk app so in this case I would like to take maybe a, a browser application like um, a edge browser and then I'm gonna assign that kiosk application to again to the self deployment uh, group which is we are going to create in the se second step and last but not least would be the importing one of the machine which has the tpm 2.0 as well as the it should be a physical machine because the self-deploying mode doesn't work on a virtual machine so i'm going to try on that uh, a physical machine which is which have that tpm 2.0 um, capabilities so uh, might be that uh, demonstration for the physical hardware I might not be uh, showing you any very good uh, video resolution but definitely I would be covering that and let's begin with that configuration so the first step as we discussed we are going to create autopilot profile creation so let's uh, go back to the device uh, enrollment go to Windows enrollment deployment profile here you can create uh, you can check out here at this point of time I have already uh, shown you the hybrid join so that profile it's already configured so anyway in in this case we are going to try with create profile and I would like to give here as the definitely this could be for the self uh, deployment so here it doesn't accept the hyphens and if you can check out here the no uh, and the yes uh, here the we are taking as the no because we are not using any of the existing devices or we are not using any kind of configuration within uh, with the with respect to the SCCM or co-management specific so I'm just using as a no and proceeding further this is the configuration co-configuration another way where it talks about the OOP specific configuration and this is where I'm gonna uh, actually configure my specific to uh, deployment mode so just the page got loaded here and if you if you can check out here deployment deployment mode is the user driven if I uh, drill down there I have the self deploying self deploying uh, mode so I can choose that self deploying mode and if you see here as soon as I selected that all the OOP specific configuration has been taken out from the screen that means uh, since it's not a user driven when I say user driven user gonna answer a few of the questions but in this case it's going to be self that means the there's no user interaction or very limited user interaction for example when I say very limited if your device does not have a LAN card and you may have to enter some of the uh, basic uh, details uh, like keyboard and regional specific settings and then choose your Wi-Fi connection and once the Wi-Fi is connected it's going to be fully automated now let's uh, select in this case in my uh, test device I have the LAN as well as the Wi-Fi so that's not a problem for me so I'm gonna demonstrate on a fully automated mode so let's um, read uh, 
if you can you know skipping the uh, work or home that's a domain joining as you're joining all that has been you know skipped including the o specific configuration and if you can look at here the language specific things also we can configure here so in my case I, it should be actually english um, so i would be selecting english later point i should be also selecting the automatically configure keyboard yeah if i want and the user icon type should be a standard and if you want it you can you know configure the uh, administration administrator uh, account but normally on kiosk bills it would be a standard account because we don't want to uh, give full rights on a kiosk bills so that's the other way so click on next that would uh, take it to the scope tabs and uh, it's simply uh, related to the scope uh, scoping options now this is where I need to add that specific AD group so let me create a AD group uh, here by going to another tab with the Azure Active Directory and uh, let's go to the groups and click on create and that's where it actually um, you can create a specific group in this case it can be um, self deployment uh, group and uh, this specific group is a static group so that means I need to add the members manually so let's create the group first later point I'm going to be uh, just typing in the self deployment mode and create and that would be a group is created so this group I can create or I can assign here to my autopilot uh, profile so I'm just selecting here as the so it should come up any moment yeah self deployment if I search it's coming up and uh, click on next that uh, shows my uh, summary I can review it so the assignment is working fine it would be a self deploying mode and click on create so it's gonna create the specific uh, to my group now it's time for me to create uh, the profile for the uh, kiosk application so I'm just going back to the device configuration and the profiles this is where I need to now click on create profile so this is going to be creating a uh, new profile so I can give here uh, this could be a kiosk specific so uh, I can give a meaningful name and the description uh, like kiosk uh, mode uh, apps enable and then um, I can give as the same description this is where I need to choose as a Windows 10 or later in the profile type I should be choosing as a kiosk now I do have multiple options in fact this specific setting we did covered uh, very clearly in the device configuration profile section uh, if you're quite new you can go back and refer to the device configuration profile but in our case we did already configure our device uh, configuration profiles uh, options but either way in this case since this is uh, a combination of auto uh, pilot will work so I'm gonna create here a kiosk application so let's choose here uh, some application name for example uh, in this case uh, in this case I, I might have to select the kiosk mode uh, so here uh, if you can you know read out this is a kiosk mode which will be enabled for the user in a full mode or half mode off of the screen so now here multiple application I can select and do you want to target for only Windows as devices so in my case I don't want to target for Windows as and I can choose here as the browser specific in this case it's the uh, edge browser uh, which I'm actually choosing here if you're concerned about some of the applications that to be only tested from the Microsoft App Store you can actually uh, sync up with your Microsoft uh, Store for business and uh, later point you can come back here and click on add app so that would actually as the uh, one of the application here very similar uh, the way we added here in this case a Microsoft Edge application similar configuration you can do it and um, the mode uh, type I'm actually uh, configuring here now so in this case mode type is the uh, application uh, not to the uh, full mode and here I can choose here uh, to be any of the specific layout for example when I say layout if I've customized my XML file with some of the PowerShells and other things I can use but in my case I don't have any of the uh, custom layouts and Windows uh, taskbar I don't want to show so I'm gonna hide and access to the other 
uh, downloads folder also no and click OK that would actually create a, a profile and later point I need to just assign so click OK uh, oops I forgot here the user login tab up so this is very important so this is very important here because uh, we need to compulsory configure the auto log on anything works from the 1809 onwards so just click on that create and this is where it's gonna just create it now I'm gonna assign so I'm going to assign to the same group which we have just created in the previous step so that should be uh, the group so that uh, that that is the target group so whenever the uh, Azure uh, AD join mission will uh, log on and then automatically this specific application will be uh, configured for them as a kiosk so that's a self-deploying more as the AD group which I've configured now we have done uh, almost the all these steps now it's time for us to uh, import that specific uh, device so I'm just going back to the devices and uh, this is other device which is assigned so I'm just ignoring import and here uh, one of my devices let me go to that path and self auto deployment to hardware testing so this is csv file which i generated if you don't know how to generate the csv file check out any of other previous uh, previous demos um, that should actually show you how to create and let's import that in fact it's just imported i just need to you know resize um, and you can see here it's syncing uh, clearly and once it's sync it, synced, uh, it will show up here. In if I just do the refresh, it's going to be uh, show up here, and also in the devices, it's going to be um, come up automatically as with my serial number. In this case, zero zero nine nine, whatever the device serial number, it is showing up here. Later, I need to I need to point uh, this to one of the AD group this specific machine. So I'll just copy the computer name later point. It might be useful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going back to my uh, groups. Uh, it should be a groups uh, and then devices. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, that's a device. Um, so I just need to take that uh, and add that specific device to one of my. AD group uh, which have just created for example in this case uh, self-deployment group so I'm going to make this mission to be member of that so it's easy to get it that specific device and select that and add so now the device whatever it is imported is also part of this so it just got uh, imported as well as it's still importing but you know you should be better to do it uh, once you have imported completed make sure that you know you should you know add to the uh, device group since it is a testing for me in a test demo I'm fine to add now if I go back to the Windows enrollment and devices I should be able to see here uh, if I just refresh uh, let's go back here and do a refresh so I just deleted that previous one but you know you can check out here and uh, if you uh, if you check out here the username uh, is not assigned and I don't want to assign any of the username and it is assigned for the deployment profile called self deployment uh, because the AD group is properly assigned and if the assigned it will be always showing all the assigned devices in that specific assigned devices list so you can check out the configuration what we have configured here and if you're ready we can go ahead and uh, start deploying on uh, on our surface pro device or our test device so looks everything is good at uh, the group uh, also in the AD I have switched back to my surface pro for the deployment mode and uh, uh, pre to this video recording what I've done is uh, that specific mission was uh, reset so I mean this is the specific mission which is surface pro has a uh, reset now it's gonna uh, starting up so I've started recording from my phone as I said it might not be really great for the next two three minutes but it means you know what exactly uh, the end users experience you can experience uh, out of this small video uh, let's begin uh, so you can check out here it just uh, just a, m a moment which is coming up uh, post to the um, installation kind of or reset um, you can see this is where it's gonna actually uh, finding out uh, Microsoft Intune specific uh, configuration if anything is found and then automatically it should show me my company logo and uh, see this is the logo which I try to focus but it's not clear but uh, that's where the logo was there if I can uh, little bit focus here yeah that's where the logo is there um, so that's a logo and uh, 
you can check out uh, the company logo has been populated that means the device is uh, discovered as part of the Intune specific and it is trying to do the other setup especially for the securing the device registering and the preparation of uh, MDM and once it is done it's gonna move to the device setup and then account setup so during the account setup it might uh, gets a reboot post to the reboot it should be okay in fact and uh, it might show you uh, the same uh, autopilot uh, window this is the autopilot actually screen so this our uh, screen will uh, show one more time uh, post to the reboot and then uh, the mission should be uh, a visible state for us uh, with that specific application in our case the Microsoft uh, Edge browser we have configured so that only should be on our screen nothing else should come up uh, in our desktop uh, which is getting this build so let's wait for a second or so uh, in fact this is I'm just trying to pause and uh, do this so you can see here continue is there but I, I can you know wait uh, like that I'm not pr uh, pressing any button uh, even though it will just you know waiting for the setup to finish it will simply go up uh, automatically because uh, my machine has already connected uh, uh, LAN which has the internet so it might just go for a reboot in a minute or so and then it should um, continue further and you can check out here uh, the first step is configured uh, which is uh, completed and the device setup is still identifying this specific device which is in uh, Azure uh, AD and uh, it might take that's a LAN card which I bought as external it's just uh, getting reboot automatically and uh, once the restart is coming up as I said it it's gonna show show me the same screen but this time with the completed state uh, you can check out here so it's just a moment which is coming up so it's going to uh, its mission got uh, automatically locked in uh, you can check out here and I have only on my screen edge let's internet is slow let me close or reopen that's okay so this is how it looks like on the screen you have the edge browser and um, um, just the edge browser there's no other things um, and you can browse that uh, machine so this is how it looks like there's nothing start menu layout or anything because uh, we have not imported any of the XML uh, for the start menu instead what we have tried is we tried just the kiosk user to be logged with that specific application this is how it looks like thank you for watching this I hope this is useful for you